my name is Kirsty McCarrison. Um, I studied ancient history and archaeology. I graduated in 2005, which sounds like a long time ago now. And I am um, currently, I lead the youth engagement team for um, English Heritage. Shout Out Loud orig originally was like a three year lottery funded um, project, National Lottery Heritage Fund. And so I was project managing that element of the project so my title may well change soon <laughs> um because now we are full-time as a team youth engagement team at English Heritage as a result of what we achieved with that that funded period from the lottery so shout out loud was um part of a big lottery initiative to engage more young people with heritage and that's what the work that we're continuing to do through English Heritage and I love it because we work with young people aged 11 to 25 um, I have a team of people. I've got a kind of digital manager, interpretation manager, youth development manager, and then I've got um, youth participation officers that go out and deliver a lot of the work on site with young people and um, with youth groups. And the difference with this project to a lot of kind of youth engagement or how it differs from kind of school work is that we are really trying our best to work with young people for whom heritage hasn't really featured in their life. And there's reasons for that is because they didn't grow up, um, you know, in that environment where visits to heritage sites was a thing, or they're not, they haven't been interested in it because actually they just haven't seen themselves represented in the stories that are told. Um, and they just don't think it's for them or they haven't felt welcome at, at heritage sites. And we want to change that because I, for one, I mean, I'm really very passionate about heritage um because i think there's there's so much bundled into heritage that can be life-changing it's been life-changing for me um and what i want is for young people to at the very least know that they are welcome in heritage spaces and that that heritage is our heritage it's everybody's heritage and so what shout out loud does is it finds these young people, it invites them into these spaces, and it could be just for a one day breaking down barriers, getting young people onto a site and them enjoying themselves and hopefully wanting to come back, all the way through to co-production projects where we really hand over that the reins to the young people and give them so much agency to say, look, we want you to find relevance and interest in our heritage, in your heritage. What threads do you want to follow? And we'll support you in the research of that history. We'll support you in your responses to it. And often they have a creative response to heritage. And that heritage, more often than not, is heritage that hasn't been as well told. And again, that comes back to representation. So these young people are kind of unearthing these narratives and these stories that haven't really been out there before. And they're responding to it in a way that means something to them and it's making it relevant to them. So as a result of this kind of work, I mean, we've had brand new photography uh, by young people across English heritage sites that are exploring kind of heritage that's personal to them, um, but will resonate with kind of a, a broader audience. So there's a big project called England's New Lenses, which has really catapulted four young people in their early careers in photography. Um, and say the Ancestors. So the Ancestors is a big project that we ran at Porchester Castle and there's a whole load of black history at Porchester Castle that a lot of people don't know about um, and so we worked with the National Youth Theatre and we had a group of um, 12 young women, uh, women of colour, who explored the stories of um, Caribbean prisoners of war that were brought over and held captive in Porchester Castle and what they discovered from their research with our historians and historians from the University of Warwick as well, was that they felt that the women's stories weren't being told. They, we couldn't hear the women in those stories, despite the fact it was whole families that were brought over. And so they started, after all of this research, putting voices in there, imagined voices of those women. And the result of that is a brand new play called The Ancestors. And I mean, this is, you know, this is fantastic stuff. One more example, because I, I just have to I have to say it. Uh, we ran a project called Reverberate, where we were getting grassroots youth organisations to engage young people with heritage in their local areas. So, uh, so one of my favourite projects for Reverberate that came through was um, a group called We Make Culture in Sunderland. 
and they work with lots of local young people and they um they're music based um but they've never really explored heritage in that music so this was the this gave them the opportunity to take that first step and what they did was they worked with a group of young women who um started to explore again with historians and curators women from that area that people didn't know so much about but actually had a huge impact impact on english history um and the history in their area so um an early member of parliament um who was a woman and they also asked local people for stories of the women in their family so their grandmas those kind of really you know family level history and heritage that other people don't know about and from that they created they wrote and performed new music and that organization we're going to work with again because they've said look we've built up our confidence here we can see how much the young people can engage with that heritage and what they can get from that and we want to do more so we're going to do more and it's fantastic i absolutely love it because it's the young people leading the way um and they're telling us how can this heritage that is here that is for everybody how can it be relevant to them how can it be made relevant what can they learn from it and what can they give back to it they're making their own heritage by these creative responses and i just think that's a, an incredible thing to be part of